Hello guys. Ah. Uh, uh, this day po, uh, I'm gonna show you kung paano uh, didiligan how to water them using this glass pot method at marami din nagtatanong if uh, is it possible to uh, to put them outside and then how effective this glass pot method is this experience ko I had this before uh, uh, last year I had my biggest glass tapos uh, I arranged using succulents tapos maraming cacti po yun and then rain and shine lang talaga yun tapos uh, sa surprise ko using that uh, big glass pot po uh, I observed them na tumalaki talaga sila at they grow uh, faster compared using to another another container or another pot and then for me as I observe uh, yung roots nila uh, makikita mo that, that they are really reaching sa tong water kasi uh, using this method kasi uh, as I observe uh, yung mga maliliit na roots gaya ng mga gaya ng rainbow cactus maliliit lang kasi yung mga roots nila when you're using this kind of method uh, yung roots nila talaga uh, they are reaching the, the water talaga tapos dumadami tapos you suddenly uh, I suddenly observed that uh, they become bigger and then they really really hold <laughs> if you want to like that yeah, yeah, yeah. they're really really stable so last week ito po yung ginawa ko using the glass pot method diba tapos now I gonna water them kasi marami kasing uh, nagtatanong if how to water them because first and foremost is wala pong butas diba and then uh, one of the a friend ko sa, sa, sa Facebook uh, he sent me a message that is it possible po ba na mabubasag yung, uh, yung pot na to kasi parang dumadami yung ugat nila so far hindi naman hindi naman itong mabubasag kasi matibay at yung ugat nila ganyan lang talaga tapos based on my observation ito ginawa ko I had this almost one month tapos if you observe parang nag, nag re green na diba? parang green na parang may mga lumot or something parang mousse sa loob ng glass if you can observe right? so for me if ganyan na ang kulay niya it means that uh, the roots of your cacti ay gumagalaw na din. I think they like that when the color of this glass pot change into just like green. Example nito. This is rainbow cactus. If you can observe, this is almost one month sa glass na to. Sa glass na to po siya. If you observe, naglalabasan talaga yung roots niya. Hmm, di ba? Yeah, the ball. The roots are really, really growing, right? And then, it is then, right? The roots are nothing anymore. At before, ah, uh, napakali italaga nito tapos dehydrated siya. Mostly, kasi in my in my case, kapag dehydrated yung cactus. I, I use this glass pot method para ka, kasi as I observe uh, it's just like water therapy just like what we did sa mga succulents yung nilulubog yung roots nila but in this case wala namang buta so possible that the water they will stay dito sa 
sa lower part, lower part ng glass so the roots really tend to reach the water kaya naglalabasan yung mga roots nila tapos madali silang lumalaki I remember this cat time uh, this cat time yung naaksidente kami tapos ito din yung grafted na variegated this is uh, grafted siya na variegated asteria tapos naglulumot na dyan and, and then tingnan nyo ang ugat nya right see yeah naglalabasan talaga look at that right yeah so this method is really good tapos ito po yung ginawa ko last last day yeah. and after one month see, I can see the roots na talaga tapos dahil new pa siya you can do sure na hindi pa hindi pa nag green green yung yung soil nya compare, compare sa iba diba hmm. okay so balik na tayo sa tanong na how to water them it's really easy because compare sa other pots uh, you need to water them uh, randomly or twice or once but now it's very hot so possible you can water them every day but in my case using this glass pot method you don't need to water them because the glass holds the water itself so paano ba? and then mag water you can use any kinds of uh, watering tools you can buy them sa Lazada or sa Shopee or, but if you don't have this uh, you can use naman yung yung lalagyan ng ketchup at patis yeah, yeah, you can you can use that one kasi matataas naman yun yung panel yung panel na lang and then now let's proceed to the watering so this is my ferro my ferro cactus before and then let's see if hmm, lalaki siya yeah. using this method and I know lalaki siya okay so in watering po nito sa, sa previous video ko I show you the procedure about putting the soil and then the rock and then the soil and then your toppers but in my case toppers uh, dependent uh, it depends on you what you're using because in this case po, I am using only the simple pebbles na nakikita ko sa labas dun o, oh, dyan ko pinuha <laughs> but uh, sa iba, I use uh, pumis or pumis but any topper will do okay so sa pag-water po nito is ganyan lang If you can see, parang nagpupuno siya, di ba? At dahil sa gravity, so it will it will go down. Look at the water. So parang... Yeah, lagay pa. And the water... It, if you can see yung, yung tubig, of course. Baba ba talaga? Plus water pa. Water pa. Until the what? Until the water reach. Kunti. Dapat. Slow lang talaga. Because we don't want na yung tubig 
is parang aapaw or it will reach here no we won't do that one because if yung tubig aapaw so possible uh, malalanta siya but in our case we just let the water reach uh, the lowest part of the pot so water lang and if you can see bumababa na yung tubig Pour lang mang pour until uh, mabasa na yung lower niya, lower, lowest part. Yeah. Okay. I think okay. Yeah, this is okay. When to know na sakto na tapos okay na po yung water na ilalagay natin. If you can see po na parang basa na po dito. Tapos dapat po <coughs> yung, yung layer kasi na ginagawa natin is soil mix. Tapos yung pebbles or any kinds of uh, small stones po tapos soil mix tapos yung topper natin di ba this is the procedure po ulit so our, our soil mix uh, your desired pebbles soil mix tapos yung toppers nyo if you water it yung tubig is it will remain in here dapat talaga yung tubig is dapat dito lang talaga why? the reason is yung ugat nya oh my god uh, yung ugat nya is it will reach uh, the lowest part of the pot and then if you can observe merong, merong pebbles po uh, based on my observation the roots become stronger if they will pass the dry part and then dahil uh, I think it's just like uh, not the really instinct but it's so part of the roots to reach the water so if they will pass dito po uh, uh, they will become stronger enough to reach uh, to reach the uh, the lower part of the pot which is the water remains right so in this method uh, as what uh, I show you sa other pot ko uh, nakikita yung ugat nila because they are reaching the, the water so in this case how often do I need to water them if you can observe example ito po I can I, you can I can see na parang basa pa talaga at my water sa ilalim if you can see my bubbles po uh, ah yeah, may maliliit na bubbles ay 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 may bubbles diba so it means uh, basa siya so I don't need to water it uh, dip, uh, you can water it if dry na dry na talaga tapos you cannot see any signs of wet just like just like po nito nagma moist see nagma moist it of course because of the remaining water but uh, you, you will water it kapag walang uh, you cannot see any moist or parang dry na talaga so in this method you don't need to water them every day or possible you can water them uh, once a week or it depends where you put them in my case uh, in the morning especially from 6 to 12 it's very hot in here kasi hapon ngayon so uh, yung water nila madali lang uh, nawawala dahil sa init so I water them 
uh, every uh, once every two weeks or once uh, every week so it depends po sa uh, water that's why in watering them uh, yeah, dapat talaga tingnan if uh, hindi pa siya nag over or in, not too low but if kunti lang just what, what I did right now and then in class naman yung ginagamit natin so you can you can notice and then you can observe that uh, if wala nang water or or meron pa so that's the time that uh, you do, uh, you need to water them and then my uh, someone also asked me uh, is it possible uh, to put them uh, outdoor or just like uh, just like other pot just like the normal pot uh, where you put your cacti or succulents so, uh, my answer is yeah you can you can you can put it, uh, them outdoor because as as what I told you na uh, meron na akong uh, big glass pot tapos nasa labas lang siya so rain or shine uh, sometimes nga eh mababasa nga I can feel na tarang basang basa but nagsusurvive sila ta tapos uh, one reason is then is ito yung topper na to is also very very important why? because yung roots niya is nandito sa topper tapos maliliit lang yung nakatouch sa soil mix if you water them of course possible as yung pinakita ko kanina na talagang uh, mag, 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 mababasa siya diba but the good thing is hindi siya ang body niya hindi uh, totally mababasa because we are using toppers tapos yung ugat lang niya yung nasa ilalim uh, that's the one who will reach uh, the water because possible dito yung part because we are watering it right now so bukas uh, dito na part is of course mawawala dahil sa ini tapos mag evaporate but yung uh, yung excess water is it will remain in here tapos after how many days it will turn into like like this parang magiging green na siya and then if observe nyo din na uh, uh, lalaki ay, they will really really uh, grow bigger uh, faster compared using uh, using normal pot na, gina, na ginagamit natin so they are possible to uh, to display outdoor just like uh, yung normal pot with our plant so parang uh, just like normal pot but you can put them outside rain or shine if you want yeah 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 basta uh, proper lang talaga yung procedure yung ginagawa nyo especially sa soil pebbles soil mix tapos yung topper nyo so if you have a question, uh, message lang. And then, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys uh, learned something about using this glass pot method. You have to try it and enjoy planting and keep safe. Have a great day. Goodbye.